Hi, hello everyone. This is Chakit from VAC Global Education. In this video, we are going to discuss about a course which is applicable to pretty much all the graduates, be it from science, arts or commerce background and who have got one year experience, no experience or they have got even 20 years of experience, they can go for this course. Most of the student face challenges uh, in two ways in New Zealand. Either one is their low percentage. If the percentage is low, then getting the offer letter and admission is a problem for some courses. If you are talking about particularly for universities, but uh, this course will make you eligible for that. And the second important key factor is your tuition fees. Because New Zealand requires one year of tuition fees as well as uh, one year of living expenses to be shown in the visa filing, be it uh, any course, uh, you need to have funds available for your entire education plus the living expenses. So the funds requirement goes a little higher. So for this course, the fees is affordable plus the living expenses, the whole expenses would be under 30 lakhs. So if you are planning to go to New Zealand for your masters, looking forward for a three years post study work visa, also you want to take your uh, spouse and kids along, then this college will give you that edge. So I'm talking about ICL Business School and they have a program called Masters of Management. This Masters of Management program has uh, multiple intakes. So if I talk about from now, I have March intake and then every uh, couple of months they have different intakes which you can choose from now this masters of management program is a 180 credit program and this 180 credit program will be finished within one year so that is a very very uh, good opportunity for anyone who wants to avail the three years post study work visa after masters under uh, 16 17 lakhs so this is one of the uh, best program which is available in Auckland so that you can get three years of post study work visa the fees for this program is $27,000 after scholarship plus your in insurance and material fees this will cost you $30,822 so which is multiplied by 50 I'm just taking a rough estimate because dollar uh, value keep on going up and down so if I'll consider it with 30, sorry, 50 uh, rupees per dollar. So this will be somewhere around 15.5 uh, lakh approximately. So this will be under 16 lakhs plus 10 lakh of living expenses, which is uh, 20,000 New Zealand dollars. You can apply your visa with 27, 28 lakh rupees, three months for uh, three months funds also. So when you uh, consider New Zealand as a destination, you need to make sure that you need to have your funds, which needs to be three months old with explanation that where you have got these funds from. The source of funds is very, very important. If you are not able to justify where you are getting these funds from, then the immigration might reject your visa application. So you need to be extremely careful about uh, the funding part the rest of the things we can take care of but we cannot take care of your funding the funding comes from the student and their parents now if you are considering any of the program in new zealand then you need to make sure that you uh, get your funds from a uh, authorized sponsor sponsor who are the authorized sponsor as per the immigration new zealand so either it's you if it's your funds your spouse if you are married it needs to be any of your parents, mother, father, uh, brother, sister, your grandparents from both maternal and paternal sides. So these are the only sponsors, people who can sponsor you. Apart from this, there is no other uh, people you can use to sponsor you. It cannot be your friends, your cousin or any of your uh, other relatives. It has to be your blood relatives only. So now what you need to focus here is that your timeline should be such like if you are planning to take your uh, family with you, then you need to apply your visa well in advance so that once their uh, visa is filed, like once you have reached their uh, timeline, 
where you want to file their visa before that your visa is should be approved so if you want to take your uh, spouse along then your visa needs to be approved first and once your visa is approved then only you would be able to file your spouse and kids visa if you have any kids now these uh, visas are filed through immigration advisors so once your visa is approved by us we can connect you with the immigration advisors and they can help you out with the visa filing so the funding is very very crucial the uh, the timing is very very crucial also the requirement uh, is very very important be it the ielts requirement or the pt requirement or the percentage requirement so with this uh, icl business school if your percentage is low then also you can apply here that's not a problem so even if you have like 40 45% you can apply if you have gap of more than 10 15 years you can still apply your ielts score needs to be 6.5 overall not less than 6 and if you are applying with pt it has to be 58 overall not less than 50 so these are the requirement for this uh, school also this is a category 1 college so what do you mean by category 1 colleges that new zealand qualification authority which is nzqa they have uh, bifurcated the universities polytechnic and private institutes into category 1 2 3 4 so category 1 being the highest there you have the maximum chances of getting the visa so this particular college fall under category 1 itself so that you will have higher visa chances and uh, i'm sure you guys must have other questions as well regarding the admission process regarding the uh, visa process so all you can do is there is a link given in the description through which you guys can get in touch with us we can help you with the getting the offer letter we can help you with the education loan if you are applying your visa with uh, education loan and with education loan you don't need to show any type of old funds just the sanction letter is good to go so if your sanction letter uh, says that the funds you have got the sanction amount is for the education purpose you are good to go you don't need to show any old funds so if you guys have any other questions regarding the admission process regarding the visa process regarding anything to do with new zealand study visa you guys are more than welcome to get in touch with us there's a link given in the description through which you can connect to us via whatsapp and uh, we will leave no stone undone to make sure that you reach uh, New Zealand in the coming intakes. If you have any questions, then do write it in the comment section so that we can respond to you. So I'm looking forward for your messages on our WhatsApp and take care of yourself. We shall see you in our next video. Bye-bye.